Hello historians, welcome to Decoding the Test and a quick look at the modern age. Now, if you want to guarantee a high level score, I would know the details that you see on the slide in front of you. Today we're just going to look at an area that the test has gone over again and again and again when it comes to the modern age. Now there are a lot of categories that it covers in this time period, but today we're going to talk about Sandra Day O'Connor, a very specific kind of question that the test asks year after year after year. Sandra Day O'Connor is the first female justice on the Supreme Court. And year after year after year, it is Sandra Day O'Connor that gets mentioned. Now, I keep expecting to see Thurgood Marshall mentioned as the first African-American justice on the Supreme Court, but I have not. I keep expecting to see Sonia Sotomayor mentioned as the first Hispanic Supreme Court justice, but I have not. It almost always seems to be Sandra Day O'Connor. So let's look at some of these questions. Which quotation could most likely be attributed to Sandra Day O'Connor? Well, if you can identify Sandra Day O'Connor as the first female Supreme Court justice, you should be able to identify which quote. F, the power I exert on the court depends on the power of my arguments, not on my gender. She's talking about it's her arguments that matter, her intellect, not the fact that she's a female. It also mentions the court. So if you knew who Sandra Day O'Connor was, you should be able to get this question right because it's the only one that mentions the Supreme Court in connection to gender. Now the rest, Sandra Day O'Connor was not the first American woman in space. Uh, she was not working for Franklin Roosevelt. Um, and she's not being humiliated or arrested. She is the first female Supreme Court justice. I've also seen this. Which diagram is about Sandra Day O'Connor? Again, answer choice A. First woman named to the Supreme Court. Boom, you got it. She's not nominated as vice president. She's not a member of the Senate. She's not a governor. But she's the first U.S. Supreme Court justice. It doesn't even matter what the second part of it is. She's the first woman named to the U.S. Supreme Court. If you can remember that about Sandra Day O'Connor, you'll be able to get this question right on the test. If there's no questions, comments, or screams of angst, I'll see you in the next video.